Well, the weather, you know, you've had about 12 inches of rain or more, and um, it's, it's just, everything is muddy and you can't even drive in the field. If my corn was ripe, I couldn't drive in here with my equipment to pick the corn, and it's so wet over where, on the other side where it's uh, more mature, you'll sink down up above your ankles and you can't walk and pick corn. You can't hold the basket or the bag and maneuver your feet without falling. This year has been a really rough year on raspberries because of all the rain and the rain on our cherries. We were, we usually pick cherries for like three weeks. We only picked for three days and our there were no tart cherries at all this year because of pollination in this cold, wet spring. And this year, the blueberries love it, but the raspberries are, uh, you have to be very selective. Uh, we have over an acre of red raspberries and uh, people are coming back with baskets full, but uh, they, uh, they have to take their time uh, because of, of the moldy berries because of all the rain. It's been a rough year because of the rain. I have noticed this year that the pickers aren't coming around as much as they normally would have, but I will say that it hasn't really affected the quality of the berry. Um, the flavor is still there, the berries are big, and we still do have a good amount of berries to, that need to be picked. Today we came to pick blueberries, and um, so this is like the second patch, and it just opened today, so like not not really anybody is in here yet and all the blueberries are like kind of brand new much, so like much yeah. bluer than the other ones yeah and like everything yeah nobody's like picked any of these bushes yet so all of it's really good and yeah there are some cat there are some bugs eating the stuff and there are some bees flying around but other than that it's pretty good <laughs>